How is it going everyone? I'm Matterhorn from mbworld.org. I am a four member there. This is my 2013 Mercedes-Benz C250 sports sedan. And I will be showing you today how to remove the mirror cover on it. Specifically just this mirror, none of the glass or electronics. This will be just this plastic piece including this turn indicator strip and none of the molding right here that involves removing interior pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the tutorial right now. All right, so I've gone ahead and turned out this mirror. Don't worry, this isn't breaking it. It is designed to turn out for in case it hits a trash can or anything, just folds up. But this is so you can only see it. You don't need to turn it out at all. Again, this is so you guys can see it on camera. Now, I do have real quick an extra mirror shell. This is for the passenger side, so don't be alarmed that it's all flipped. But to give you a quick idea of what we'll be removing, you can see it is one piece up here with a small supporting bar that you can see between the flat black and the gloss black right about here. And this does come up all along and connect to the main part. So we'll need to remove the bottom part first. Now to do so safely, you can see that the mirror is flat with it. And on lighter cars, it's much easier to tell. But since I have the black mirror housings, there's actually flat black in here. You want to make sure the mirror is as lined up with the flat black everywhere as possible. This is to avoid breaking the mirror when the mirror housing comes straight up. So to do so, I'd recommend just opening your window, at least for the driver's side, and just messing around with it a little bit until it lines up. Now I've already tried one take on this, so I do know that this is already lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it back out so you guys can see the removal. Like I said, right here you can actually see there's a slight dividing kind of like tab, if you will, between the gloss and the flat. So we're just going to go ahead and pull this bottom part out. You want to use a lot of force when doing this because it is very hard on. So you're going to want to pull this tab out as much as you can, pull it out, and then use a lot of force and just pull the mirror straight up. There is little tabs everywhere slightly connecting it. So don't be afraid to pull up slightly as long as you don't feel like it's pulling on anything important. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm struggling a little bit, partly from soreness and not hitting the gym enough. Okay, so right there you can see it comes off. That was probably a little bit harsher than you want to remove it. It looks like inspecting the mirror, inspecting the mirror right here, inspecting the housing. Nothing did break. It's just this little retention tab kind of thing right here. Really not much you can do other than try to push it out to at the same time. Again, it's, it's a Mercedes, so it's not likely it's going to break. The biggest thing you want to watch out for is this mirror glass piece and the fact that there is a blue connector right here. This is the connector that connects, if you can see it. Right in here, there's a little port. That is what powers the wiring to go into the LED turn indicator on the actual mirror. So, once you get a new mirror, I'm just gonna reinstall the same one back on. You want to make sure these go back on, the connector and the port inside, and it will go on fine. There's no need to have to hold it or anything. Basically, as long as the mirror is on straight everywhere else, that will reconnect itself. So let me just walk around again. I'm gonna line everything up. I'm gonna look inside the mirror housing. Make sure everything looks really right. Make sure the glass is inside. This little piece right here will sometimes not line up all the time. So make sure that mirror, the mirror glass is in line. Okay, so everything you can see looks like it's about in place. Just need to push down and you can see it just snaps right into place. Same process for the other side. You want to just make sure, again, the mirror glass is the big thing we're trying to save here. Especially if you're not planning on reusing the old ones coming off the car. Again, mirror glass is key because if that is ruined, the whole mirror is useless. So make sure this is aligned. Don't break that off. But again, just pull out, lift up with a lot of force. Might not be as much force for you. I'm just a little weak right now. So that is how to replace the mirror housing or mirror cover rather, on the W204 models and any Mercedes-Benz with the smaller mirror housing. And you can see the smaller mirror housing is this one that's not, like on the SUVs, they're much larger. So, this is Matterhorn. Good luck with your DIYs, guys, and let me see your pictures in the forums.